starting with the double column cash book why do you call it a double column cash book see here we have cash and we have a discount allowed account as well discount account column as well here cash before cash we have a discount received column as well so when you have a cash column and a discount column then this is called as double column cash book cash column with a discount column just write here receipts and here payments now writing here receipts and payments is your working till you are new to the cash book keep writing then you need not write it then you will start automatically posting it in the correct manner but for initial two or uh, three cash books do it for being at the safer side shall we start okay cash in hand 50000 so this is what the balance is given balance new cash book so i will write brought down to balance brought down and in the cash column 50000 as i told you earlier when you finish one entry just put a tick on it eye contact should never go on this entry again now the second entry paid to ram 3000 discount allowed by him 100 discount is to be recorded separately we have a discount column and whatever is the payment to be recorded in the cash column what will be the journal entry paid to ram ram account debit to cash to discount ram account debit to cash to discount so in cash book i will not write to cash to discount ram account debit so by ram put the date here and how much is the discount it is 100 and how much is the payment it is 3000 in cash book i will never write to cash here okay now this is also finished third entry received from sham 9000 discount allowed to sham 200 okay received from sham so cash account debit discount account debit to sham the discount will always be a partner of cash you cannot have a entry if you are thinking of a entry cash account debit to discount to sham it is wrong cash will always be a partner of discount received from sham 9000 cash account debit discount account debit to sham to sham third discount is 200 and cash received is 9000 done next paid to meeta meeta 2950 so meeta account debit to cash account so by meeta it is what how much see discount allowed to her is 50 so the entry will be meeta account debit to cash to discount how much is the cash 2950 how much is the discount 50 discount is always the partner of cash 
if the cash is ge getting credited discount is will always be credited if the cash is debited discount will always be debited this is a small way to check your journal entry okay next paid in full settlement rupees 2000 to sita or of sita actually 1800 i have paid 1800 means there is a discount of 200 because the balance was 2000 sita account debit because i have paid sita account debit to cash to discount so i will write here by sita to cash is 1800 and to discount is 200 owing her 2000 so 1800 is paid in cash and 2000 is the discount amount posted okay now what will i do which column should i add first and which side it is the cash column which I should add and always the debit side because credit side can never go more than the debit side so first of all total it 50 plus 9 this is 59,000 so this side has to be 59,000 but 32950 and 1800 this is less so if this month is April, say at the end of the month, say 30th April, at the end of the month, you will write by balance, it's ending, so carry it down. And the difference of 59,000 minus 32950 and 1800 amounts to 51, 250, 51, 250. Okay. So this tallies. Now, one very important thing. You need not total the discount column. Just actually you need not balance the discount column. Just total it you need not balance the discount column just total it i am balancing here the cash what will i do uh, if i want to balance the discount column there is no need to balance just it is showing me that discount allowed is 200 and discount received is this plus this plus this so i need not balance it just write the total the total total is 200 here and the total is 350 here discount columns total we have to total and keep but they will not match the rule to be followed discount columns total will never match you don't have to match them because you don't have to balance them just keep the total and leave it and here balance the cash account will be balanced so whatever is coming in put it here whatever is going out put it here and a, with a, a cash book with a discount and a cash column is known as two column or two column cash book or a double column cash book